Welcome back to Resident Evil Village on Stadia. My name is Ricky. Last week, we showed Lady D who was boss after she turned into a terrifying monster and tried to kill us, all because we wanted to leave her house. Also, we got to some new areas in West Town, and what else, what else, what else? Oh, we also learned that Rose has been turned into a crystal and broken into four parts. Probably should have led with that. But whatever. Yeah, that part was, um, not great last week. Her head is right there. And we're going after the other three parts by starting with this way. Why won't the four-winged key fit in the four-winged door? Hey. Could you explain to me why the four-winged key won't fit in the four-winged door? Okay, fine. Never mind. We're gonna go this way. There we go. I did do a few things. Uh, in between the last episode and this episode, I upgraded the guns a bit. I upgraded the shotgun here. I increased the number of shells that can be in it and also increased the reload speed or decreased the reload speed rather. And also the sniper rifle, I increased the damage and the rate of fire. I also investigated a bunch of stuff in the town, but you know what? None of that really matters right now because there's a bunch of creepy dolls being hung. And I don't like that one bit. Let me start off by saying that I did go get a bunch of food ingredients by killing a bunch of animals. And also I went and found some fish. And also there was a pig over by Luisa's. I was only able to make the herbed fish, which gives me a slight health boost. Yay. But cooking is weird. Like imagine like Breath of the Wild's cooking noises, but like Resident Evilified. I also found Luisa's key, which was inside Luisa's necklace. And then the key unlocked a box that we ran into last week. Anyway, inside that was something worth a crazy amount of money, which is how I was able to upgrade my guns. And I still have a lot of money left over. I'm hesitant to do anything with any of my guns, knowing that I might get a better one. Like there's a better shotgun somewhere. I don't like this bridge. I also went to all the wells I could get to. Ethan. See uh... Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. I I don't trust this. What's going on? Everyone leaves me. Ethan Rose. I don't want to be alone. Okay. This can't be real. No, I don't think it's real. But also, have I mentioned that I don't think Mia's actually dead? I mean, it's Resident Evil. Jack Baker was killed three times in Resident Evil 7, and he still managed to come back in the DLC. So, Benvenito, 1987 to 1996. Ooh, so this was a child who's not that much younger than me. Well, I mean, obviously they died, but give up your memories. Finally! <laughs> a use for this photo! I don't know why I've had this the whole time. Hello? Well, at least this elevator works. Oh, come on, no. 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 Yeah, that was not there before. So that's fun. Hello? <sighs> Creepy doll person. Hello? I'm here for a part of my daughter, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. There's the creepy doll. I wonder who that is. Doll maker? The actual doll maker? I was told to find the doll maker, but I only ever met the doll. Unless the doll maker put her soul... Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm asking too many... Nope. It's Resident Evil. It's just gonna be weird. I mean, several of these doors have not... Those film canisters? Several of these doors have not opened, so... Oh, come on. Now that's just creepy. Nope. Okay. Worth a shot. Not that I think dolls are inherently creepy or not creepy. This part of the house looks a little bit less put together. What with the, you know, wallpaper peeling off the walls and the roof sort of not looking great. All right. I guess we're going up and or down. Down. Hello? Anybody here? I'm looking for... Uh, again, I'm looking for a body part that belongs to my daughter. Oop. Okay. Now I think we're getting somewhere. Hello? This is unpleasant. 
Oh, come on. It's... No, creepy doll. Uh, of Wait, course. Where's my gun? Uh, of course. How does she take all my stuff? What is this? Bandages are too tough. You need something to cut them. Okay. Remove ring. Um, I. Okay. Well, now I have a ring. Blood-covered ring, no less. So I'm stuck in here until I crack this code is that mia is this supposed to be mia hang on i can examine her leg that felt weird that i needed to do this by the way game aha i don't like winding key i'm gonna tell you that right now okay once again we're going to examine it until we find the joint and then take it apart again Okay, that was weird. And again, find the joint. And remove it. Wow. That's a kid. Can you believe it? She's she's so energetic. Uh uh look, I don't know what to make of that. That was a little weird. Yeah, that's that's me lying dead on the floor. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Why can I walk into this thing? Interesting. Okay, let's see what's down here now, I guess. Okay. So I can change the symbol. Okay, so I know that one's correct. Hang on, go back and look at the eye now. I think that's what the arm was trying to tell me. So it's a uh, Illuminati bird. Okay, is that it? Oh crud, which way's the bird? Oh Lord, okay, we'll be right back. That way, okay. So, I have the first two, now I just need the third one, which none of the things I have will go in there. But we're getting somewhere. Don't know what's through that door, but we're getting at least a little bit somewhere. Aha! Okay, I don't know if this is going to get anything, but I got the ring unbloodied. Aha! 529.11. And one, and there we go. Well, I got out of the creepy room. But I don't feel like I'm in a better position. This feels like a dumb thing to do. But we're going into the room with the door that just opened. Why is this here? That the wedding cake? I think I'm trying to make a pattern here. Play? I guess that sounds right. Squeezers. This place is unsettling. Unsettling. Now I can use the tweezers to get out film. Well, this isn't good. Okay, what can't she tell Ethan? Is there anything in particular here? Oh, that's Rose's doll. Also... No, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, also, it's the same image on both sides. But it's not. It is reversed on one side. So, okay. Fair, fair play, Capcom. Alright, well... Stupid Mia! Stupid Vision jump-scared me. I'll say this, this game is more terrifying than Resident Evil 7 is so far. Although, 
it hasn't really been super terrifying until right now. Okay, so I know this film is important. I'm sure I'm supposed to put it somewhere, but I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put it yet. So, and I appear to be stuck in there. So we're going to head back upstairs if we can and see what we can do. Maybe there's a projector or something. Or maybe there's a thing with a red light on it. Okay. Never mind, we can't go upstairs. Aha! Our happy family. Rose's best friend in the whole wide world. She really likes this fairy tale. The most important thing in the world to us. A wedding gift from Grandma. Proof of Ethan's everlasting love for me. So. This goes here. So, best friend. There we go. Um. No. What am I watching? There's a well. It looks like maybe a bassinet. Looks like I'm going down the well. Excellent. Oh, fun. Yay. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going anywhere without a knife. So I am sufficiently creeped out and stuck. So I think we'll pick up here next time. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. Like, I know I need some sort of knife, but I don't know where that knife is, and I'm missing something. I'm clearly missing something. Anyway, this has been Resident Evil Village on Stadia. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Resident Evil.